hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time my name is precious yes this is another relocation video but this time i need to warn all of you there has been a lot of videos flying about about healthcare sponsorship visa which to be honest is true if you're trying to come to the uk you've this is an opportunity and is an amazing opportunity for a lot of people who want to come to the uk to um kind of relocation is a good opportunity but there are things i need to draw your attention to which a lot of people don't tell you so i'm going to be telling you what you need to know or what no one tells you about healthcare sponsorship visa so that you prepare yourself even if you decide to come at least you have the whole information you have the full picture you're ready physically mentally all around you're ready i'm in the uk and i've been in the uk for over 10 years so i feel like it would be nice for me to tell you the truth about certain things tell you what to expect when it comes to this sponsorship visa so without further ado let's get so, talking after brexit happened in the uk so if you don't know what brexit is so it's so the uk or the united kingdom decided to leave a uh, european union not that they've left europe because they can't leave europe they left the union european union so as a result of that a lot of um europeans who were helping working doing all sorts of work in the uk had to apply for visa so most people actually left right back to, went back to their country there has been a gap when it comes to and certain jobs people cannot they don't they can't find people to fill in those roles which i'm going to be making a video as well i'm going to be making a video on the the roles that are needed in the uk okay the skills that are needed currently needed in the uk i'll make a special video on that because there are so many videos there's so many roles it's not just healthcare there's so many other aspects of um or so many other jobs that the uk government or the uk as a whole they are looking for people to fill in those job rules so i'm going to be making a video on that but today i just want to talk about the things that you need to bear in mind sponsorship visa healthcare sponsorship visa you're planning for it you're applying for it what do you need to bear in mind first of all i would say that there is a government website which which is um the, the government website which i'm going to be linking on the screen you need to go and read things for yourself because almost all the information you need for your visa application and for your sponsorship visa is there you'll be able to read them and get things for yourself but for us who are here to give you like heads up and all of that it will be nice for us to tell you what you need to bear in mind so first of all healthcare sponsorship visa what is it so healthcare is a job like he says health care so for them to employ you you need to be able to, for they need to have a sponsorship okay certificate they need to be sponsors so what that means is that if they employ you from let's say nigeria or whatever part of the world you are they'll be able to give you that later to say okay this person is now going to be working for us we want this person to come to the uk you will now use that certificate to apply for your visa so that's basically in a nutshell what sponsorship is is that certificate they give to you then you use that certificate as part of your other documents to apply for visa to be able to come to the uk because not all jobs in the uk can give you that certificate of sponsorship but at the moment they're employing their recruiting for healthcare assistant or healthcare visa like they call it and they'll be able to give you visa for at least five years and guess what by the time you get visa for five years you cannot apply for your indefinite leave to remain which is actually like you don't need visa anymore if you apply for indefinite leave to remain it means you have indefinite leave okay so you can be you can come to the uk anytime you like however you like then if you decide to become a british citizen then you now apply for citizenship but some people decide you know what i'm just gonna have my indefinite leave to remain i don't want to bother myself with um the citizenship because if i think there's minimum or maximum number of citizenship that you can have so most people decide to just end it at indefinite leave to remain so let us just start talking about what you need to bear in mind now like i said you have five years they're going to give to you one thing you need to bear in mind is that you are tied to that employer a lot of people don't mention this but this is very very important so if you're coming to the uk as a healthcare assistant or on a healthcare sponsorship visa right that that employer or that organization that gave you that um, sponsorship visa you are tied to that employ employer you cannot leave that employer and even if you want to leave that employer you have to find another um you have to find an, an employer that will be able to sponsor you unless now the caveat is unless the job code is similar 
okay unless it's a similar kind of job let's say healthcare healthcare is the same is the same job code similar job code then maybe you don't need to apply for another visa anymore you can still use that sponsorship visa to continue working but if you're going to let's say you're coming as a healthcare assistant and you want to become um a typical example you want to become a data scientist right you cannot leave that job care a visa you cannot leave that people those people that recruited you to go and become a data scientist unless the data scientist people that are employing you are ready to sponsor your visa so people need to bear this in mind because some people feel like oh i just want to come to the uk i just want to come to the uk which is fantastic but you are going to be tied to that employer you cannot leave that employer for five years unless you find another employer that is going to sponsor you or the job you're going to be going to is similar to the job that you're leaving or it has the same job code it is very very important so don't carry that um feeling that oh i'm just going to come to the uk i'm going to come i'm going to use this job to head care assistant job to just enter as soon as i enter I start looking for job i start looking for job it doesn't work like that if you can find a job and it works for you but just bear in mind that you're tied to the employer that gave you that sponsorship visa for at least five years if there's any question you have please let me know in the comment section because you need to know this a lot of people don't know this a lot of people are not aware that they are tied to that employer they just want to come to the uk you need to know this and if you decide that that's fine that's fine but at least you know that you're tied to that employer unless another employer decides to employ you and decides to also sponsor your visa another thing as well i've already even mentioned is that your new employer that's if you decide to leave your new employer will sponsor your visa let me give you a typical example so you come in as a healthcare assistant right and you come in and you're like oh this job i don't like it i want to do something else i'm actually a lawyer i want to become a lawyer for you to apply for any job that in the in the law firm or that has to do with law your lawyer or the law firm will have to say you know what okay we're going to pay for visa for you we're going to pay for um sponsorship for you and they will now have to apply for visa for you you cannot use the visa that healthcare people gave to you to go and work for law firm you cannot use the visa that healthcare people gave to you to go and apply for a different place you have to reapply for another you have to apply for visa again based on what the, the new employment is and that new employment will have to meet certain criteria which is number one they have the ability to sponsor you which i don't even want to go into what it takes to be a sponsor there's a lot of politics behind it but you need to know that for you to leave one job to another job the new employer would be able to sponsor your visa another thing as well that you need to bear in mind is that you are the mercy of your employer <laughs> i'm going to talk about this one a bit so that my my brothers and sisters that are coming from nigeria will understand if you have if you're coming to have a sponsorship visa by a particular employer because that employer knows that you are literally they are holding your both hands you can't run away they would use you they would do certain things to you that they'll probably not do to someone who has the the, the privilege of leaving the job whenever they like so you are at the mercy of the employer. There are certain things that you may, you may not be able to take on a normal day, but because the employer knows that she doesn't have anywhere to go anywhere, she doesn't have anything, who else, where is she going to go? They will start, they will do stuff to you that you may not even like, but because <laughs> you don't have anywhere to go to, you're going to take it. So you need to bear in mind that you are at the mercy of that employer. The employer that gave you visa, you are the mercy of this uh, that employer. These things, a lot of people will not tell you, but Precious is going to tell you because one thing I don't want to do is to make, make it look all beautiful. Yes, it is beautiful to come to the UK. It's a fantastic opportunity, but there are certain things that you also be, need to bear in mind, which is you are the mercy of the employer that gives you the visa. And don't let me tell you the truth. They know your, your, your status. They know where you are they know the difficulty that you are you are in they know the thing they know that you can't go anywhere so we are human beings and by the time they know your that your hands and, and feet are tied they will do a lot of things to you that you cannot cope they will even say she will, they will give you shifts that they know that <laughs> on the normal day they're not supposed to give you but they will just be 
hammering you work he came to work right he came on a work visa you are going to work so another thing as well that people need to bear in mind is what is the job you're coming to the uk to do I know that a lot of people just know that healthcare ah, is to look after maybe old people or people that are sick in the hospital or um, is to um, look after yeah, young children or is it not okay? care? Who care? Now, after all, we care for our brothers and sisters in the house. After all, I've been caring for my grandma and my grandpa in Nigeria, so I can care. <laughs> it's not it all. It's not, it's way, way beyond that. Healthcare is looking after old people. Old people that still need still have a little bit of independence and don't have any form of independence so they are literally depending on you to do everything for them healthcare in the hospital in the sense that you are in the see another thing that you people need to bear in mind is that if you're coming to the uk to work if your shift is 12 hours your shift is 12 hours people need to know that the work ethics in the uk is very very high like you need to you work you work you have to work your time. You're not coming to sit down and look. You work. So you need to understand what you're coming to do. Let them give you job description. Please look at your job descriptions properly. The job description of a healthcare assistant. If you're coming to the UK as a healthcare assistant, assistant, please look at the job description so that you will know what you're coming to do. <laughs> it is not the same as looking after your grandma at home. It is not the same as looking after your grandpa at home. It is different. This is a profession. It's a professional thing that if anything happens to you, anything happens to any of those residents that you're looking after here <laughs> or those patients you're looking after as a result of carelessness or as a result of incompetence or one thing or the other or lack of passion to do the job you are in trouble and it's going to affect you for the rest of your life because your dbs and if something is on it it takes very few employers to actually employ if you have a bad dbs so know what you're actually coming to the uk to do it's very very important if you don't know anything about healthcare, read about it study about it if you read about it and you like it everything is okay then that's fine you can go ahead apply for your visa do your interview god be with you by the grace of god you'll be able to succeed but at least you know what you're getting yourself into another thing as well that you need to bear in mind is that if you come to the uk a lot of benefits you're not gonna have mm -hmm. So if you think that when you come to the UK, you're going to have child benefits, you're going to have a decent benefit, the other one benefits, you're, you're not getting nothing, right? The state benefits when it comes to state benefit and pension, you're not getting because you have not contributed to the system. Okay, that's how it works here. So bear that in mind that coming to the UK, you will still take care of yourself. Of course, there's free health which you have even paid in your NHS surcharge that they're already charging people already. So you're going to pay for um, um when it comes to this where well, there's healthcare free there's school free there's a lot of things that are free but there are certain things that you are you're not allowed to have you're not you don't have any this thing to public funds when it comes to public funds on your visa to write there are no recourse to public funds so you're not allowed to have any public fund anything that other people do have that in the uk you may not be able to have it so guys these are the things that i said i should just share with you that you need to bear in mind because it's a beautiful thing but i always believe that you should know what you're getting yourself into then you come prepared you're informed whatever thing you're going to do you know what you're coming in coming to the uk for you know what you're getting yourself into even when the job is becoming difficult or you're getting stressed out it's not something that will take you by surprise because you know what you're getting yourself into so if you have any question about these things i'm going be making a lot of videos as well on um, this healthcare visa so that you will get the whole information that you need to get when it comes to coming to the uk but if you have any question let me know on the comment section so these are the things that people don't tell you about about healthcare sponsorship visa it's very very important that you know these things before you decide to come to the uk so guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please press the subscribe button and the notification bell also give me a thumbs up thank you so much for watching be grateful be positive and be yourself and may god guide your step as you try to come to the uk thank you so much bye for now bye <music>